Can you divorce your spouse even if your spouse does not want to go along with it? Does it require both parties to cooperate? I cannot speak for all jurisdictions, but here is the answer for Utah, the jurisdiction where I practice divorce and family law, though my best guess is that this applies to all jurisdictions as well. So, can you divorce your spouse if he or she doesn't want a divorce? Yes, no question about it. You have an absolute right to a divorce if you want a divorce. This is what a no-fault divorce is. Many people believe that no-fault divorce means many things it does not. Some believe no-fault divorce means essentially, hey spouse, you can't divorce me because I've done nothing wrong. I've committed no fault. No, that's not what it means. Some believe no-fault divorce means, hey spouse, I can divorce you because I've done nothing wrong. I've committed no fault. That's not what it means either. No-fault divorce means this, you can get a divorce regardless of whether your spouse has committed any marital fault. What does this mean and what is marital fault? Well, it means, one, that before the no-fault divorce law was passed by the legislature, the only way one could obtain a decree of divorce was by proving that his or her spouse was at fault. If your spouse had not committed a marital fault, then you couldn't get a divorce no matter how much you wanted a divorce, even if your spouse wanted a divorce too. Marital fault-based grounds for divorce still exist in some states, most states actually. They are just not the only way one can qualify to get a divorce anymore. Two, with the passing of a no-fault divorce law, now one can obtain a divorce on the grounds of irreconcilable differences, which means that as long as you claim, claim, you don't even have to prove it, just claim that there are irreconcilable differences between you and your spouse that render the marriage irretrievably broken, you can get a divorce. Marital fault is any of the following grounds for divorce at common law. I will list the grounds that Utah recognizes first, plus some other grounds that other jurisdictions recognize as fault-based grounds for divorce, even though you no longer have to plead fault. Here are the Utah grounds. 1. Impotency of the respondent at the time of marriage. 2. Adultery committed by the respondent subsequent to marriage. 3. Willful desertion of the petitioner by the respondent for more than one year. 4. Willful neglect of the respondent to provide for the petitioner the common necessaries of life. 5. Habitual drunkenness of the respondent. 6. Conviction of the respondent for a felony. 7. Cruel treatment of the petitioner by the respondent to the extent of causing great bodily injury or mental distress to the petitioner. 8. Incurable insanity. Or 9. When the husband and wife have lived separately under a decree of separate maintenance of any state for three consecutive years without cohabitation. Other fault-based grounds in other jurisdictions can include 1. Abandonment for a certain length of time 2. Bigamy 3. Conviction of a felony 4. Conviction of a felony or imprisonment of one party for a certain length of time 5. Cruelty 6. Desertion Actual desertion or constructive desertion 7. Fraud 8. Habitual intemperance or alcoholism that makes you unable attend to attend to the business or inflicts mental anguish on the non-alcoholic spouse 9. Homosexuality, for heterosexual married couples, of course, of the other party that was not discussed before the union. 10. Incest. 11. Infertility. 12. Mental instability of one of the parties. 13. Permanently insanity of the, permanent insanity of the spouse. This can be demonstrated by regular confinement within a psychiatric facility in any state or country for at least three years before filing for divorce in some jurisdictions. 14. Separation for a certain minimal period of time. 15. Transmission of a sexually transmitted disease by one spouse to the innocent spouse. 16. Where a spouse's joining of a religious sect leads to the destruction of the marriage, then the objecting partner can cite the episode as grounds for divorce. 17. Willful desertion. 18. Willful neglect of the husband not providing his wife the common needs like food and shelter. 19. Your spouse is physically unable to have sexual intercourse. 20. Your spouse's institutionalization for mental illness. If you're curious, here is the list, according to LegalZoom, of the pure no-fault states that don't permit divorce on fault-based grounds anymore. California, Colorado, District of Columbia, Florida, Hawaii, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, and Wisconsin.